So you own the Steel FS94R string trimmer. What a great lightweight, maneuverable, two-stroke handheld string trimmer. Hey guys, Josh with Carl's Mower and Saw, and today we're gonna really quickly go over the things you need to know to get the most out of your Steel FS94R trimmer. Let's start with the basics. And I'd say the basics are always safety. When we're going out to use these things, they are throwing stuff. They are making noise, we need to protect our eyes, we need to protect our ears. Let's start with some safety goggles. Oh boy, you got some sweet, sexy looking things that came with it. And I love the brush defender style. It covers my full face and my ears. Speaking of this, let me tell you a story. The other day, probably like a week ago, I'm out running my weed eater, cruising around. I must have been not smiling, thank goodness, and a rock just came flying out of my flower bed. Hit me right here. I got done. My lip was bleeding. So these things do throw stuff. And I do have this guard deflector on my trimmer. So be aware. Protect your face. I mean, I know that's a little sidebar from your FS94, but just, just be on it, okay? So we know about protecting ourselves, our ears, our eyes. Let's talk about the fuel. What are we going to put in this stuff? Gas, right? Simple. Just gas. Nope. We're going to run Steel Ultra or Steel Moto Mix. So usually, most of the year, what I'm going to take is one of these little bottles and I'm going to put it in a gallon of fuel. And please, please put it with ethanol-free fuel. That's what's going to give this, this carburetor a much longer life. That's what's going to give your fuel a longer life and help you avoid some of those hard starting and down times that happen with a bad fuel. So let's look to fire this thing up. I'm going to put some gas in real quick. I think... You guys are smart enough to know where the fuel cap is, so I didn't point that out. But there's your fuel cap. Putting a little gas in, and we're going to flip it around so we can see the front of the machine right here. You see our primer? We're going to give this five pumps. I'm going to give it a couple more. This thing has never been fired up, so I've got to get that fuel sucked up to it. There we go, six, seven. Now I've got fuel there. It is always on. It's always ready to start. So all I need to do now is choke it, which is on the back, which is push in and twist, and pull the rope. I'm gonna let this sit and warm up for a couple of minutes, right, a minute, before I really take off and go to work with it. Any of these machines, it is good to let them sit and warm up before just ripping right into the work. All right, we know how to start it. Let's talk about some of the maintenance items and some of the unique features of the FS94R. I'm gonna start with the unique features. This, this throttle control, this little spin dial right here, what this does is it limits my trigger throw. So I can't squeeze it very far there. As I wind it forward, I have more throw to my throttle. This can be really good if I'm trying to have absolute control as I'm doing some nice, pristine, clean flower bed work, or it can be really bad. If I always use this and I'm running at half throttle all the time, you know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna plug up my spark arrestor. So we need to, at times, really rip these things. They're, they're burning oil and gas, and that oil will carbon up and cause problems in the screen of the exhaust. So use this. It's a cool little feature that gives you some control when you need it, but also, when you have that opportunity to open it up, get on the open highway and hit 100 miles per hour or something like that, dial that thing up and go to work. All right, air filter. Hiding right here on the side, one screw. Open it up very easily with my steel Torx wrench. Cover off, I have one of these nice felt foam air filters. This is kind of cleanable, but realistically, probably just throw a new one in if you're a homeowner once every year. If you're a commercial guy, you're probably looking at doing this every couple months. Spark plug is hiding right here on the top. Under this protective black cap so you don't break it off. And then the first time that you take this spark plug boot off, you got to be really careful because it's on there tight. And I see all the time people will rip this off and cause a problem. And the spring comes out that clips onto the wire and you've got all this mess. So there's our spark plug right there. 
take the plug out. Again, if I'm a homeowner, probably once every couple years. As a commercial guy, I'd for sure be throwing a new one in every year. Hey, first time, have you guys seen it? Steel is branding their own spark plugs now. There's a steel branded spark plug. They told us this was coming a few months ago. They needed to have a better control over the supply chain. And then we have a fuel filter hiding in the tank and that has a variable life. That's gonna come down to really, what kind of junk am I putting in the tank? If I'm putting in some crappy gas, some dirty gas, gas with water, I'm gonna have fuel filters go bad significantly more often. Personally, as a homeowner, I do mine every year. That's probably more than most people would need to do it. As a commercial guy, for sure, once a year, I wanna do my fuel filter. Now you'll notice, maybe you'll notice, I did not say valve adjustment. Remember on a bunch of the steel trimmers, we talk about doing a valve adjustment after roughly 150 hours once we start getting the chunk. Well, this is a traditional two cycle machine where I do not have valves. So a lot of the commercial guys love this machine because it's a little lighter weight and there's not the additional maintenance of having the four mix design. So none of that valve adjustment on this good and bad. I think we lose a little bit of the torque, but I think we gain some benefits when it comes to weight and some of the reduced maintenance. As we move down towards the bottom end, we do have our grease point right here. We've got this little fancy tube of grease that threads in here. Let's do that every 50 hours. I do want to point out really quickly on the FS94, one of the things that for a lot of people can be a big draw or a big hold back or thing to keep them from purchasing one is it is driven by a, wow, let's just take all that out, cable, flexible drive cable. This is lighter than a solid steel drive shaft and works totally fine when I'm running a line head, but it's going to really prohibit me from the future use of maybe running it as a brush cutter. So as you're, if you have done some shopping and are looking at different string trimmers for your application and you're saying someday I'm gonna to need to run a blade, the FS94 may not be the right machine for you. Let's pop this gearbox back on, put that gearbox back on, and let's take a quick look at this line head. This has the steel auto cut 27-2, so we simply push in this tab, and then the other tab. My hand's a little greasy from dealing with that drive cable there. And let's get the trimmer line out of there. For a more in-depth review on how to use this head, how this head works, and how to reload it, check out our other video. I bet we're smart enough to post it right down here in the corner. That makes life easy. And I'm gonna grab my trimmer line. I'm gonna grab three arm lengths of .095, one, two, and three. I can actually go to four but I find that three is, is a little better. I don't like to overload it. Cut it. And here's our ends. Take one end. Take the other end. Put them together like so. Find the slots in the middle. Slide one end in and the other, and then time to wind. I'm using the word wrap it and tap it for this trimmer head. It's a good operating trimmer head. Always seems to have good feeding characteristics, good durability and life, and honestly, easy to get parts for. So as you put this out in the field as a commercial contractor and you start wearing out bump knobs and you start wearing out caps, all these are readily available at your local steel dealer. So now we're gonna lock it up in the top tabs like so. Cut it in the middle, flip this over. Let's get a little shot of this going in. Line that up, pop it out. Line that up, pop out the line, kick it back just a notch so I don't have to continue to hold it down and put the cap on. All right, quickly, how do we start this again? Prime it five times. Choke it, just like that. There we go, your steel FS94R string trimmer. So don't forget to refer to your manual. I've given you a good 
quick brief overview of, of really the high line things that you need to know, but it's always a good idea to dive in to your steel FS94R trimmer manual as you break this out for the first time. Have fun. If you have more questions, stop by Carl's Mower and Saw, where we can set you up with a full line of accessories, optional trimmer heads, better face protection, better earmuffs, all that stuff. Stop by your local dealer, Carl's Mower and Saw.